let's just start with this latest filing we're getting from Sidney Powell, right, asking a, a judge to dismiss the charges. Is there any chance she succeeds? No, she has a good argument, but she's not going to succeed at her motion to dismiss before there's any trial. It's a good argument that she can raise in her defense. Her argument is, yes, we maybe accessed the voting data machines, right. but we thought we had authorization. Okay, raise that as your defense, but they're not going to really get that. But you can't get rid of the uh, the actual trial before that. Okay, yeah. so this comes in the context of this this whole fight going on about when this is going to trial. Yeah. And you've got, uh, you know, uh, obviously two people want to go fast and everybody else doesn't, it, it seems, not everybody at least. Uh, President Trump and Mark Meadows have waived their right to a speedy trial. So in other words, you know, Trump wants to put this off as long as possible. Fannie Willis, though, says she's ready to go for all 19 and she's ready to go in 40 days, uh, if I have the math right. Um, so does she get what she wants or does all this get put off? And, and in the case of Trump, by quite a long time. I think a bunch of it gets put off. The first two will definitely go on October 23rd, it looks like. Because they requested the speedy trial, right? With they requested Giuliani, it. Giuliani uh, and, uh, and Powell. Yeah, and it's Georgia's speedy trial law, which does say that you get it if you want it by a certain period of time. The question with Trump and Meadows, it's actually a smart move for them to say we waive a speedy trial because she actually said to the judge, hey, wait a minute, you can't not put them all together. You have to put them all together because otherwise they're going to start invoking their speedy trial at different points and it'll be a cascade of speedy trial requests yeah. where they all get it in different periods. I can't yeah. do that. You don't want that to happen. So the fact that they waived it is a good move by them to say, do not put us on October 23rd. Wait, 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 wait. Push it all the way back as far as they can. Right. And we just don't know that as far as they can what that is. Right. <laughs> we, all right. Um, now, of course, we've got that televised hearing tomorrow. Um, judge could rule on the scheduling and the actual timing on this. There's another big issue, though, you're watching there? Yeah. Last time that the judge met with the lawyers, he raised a very complex legal question that they could not answer on the on, on their toes. And the question was, well, wait a minute, if we proceed in Fulton County State Court and then later in time the cases are removed to federal court, doesn't that destroy your case as prosecutors because double jeopardy, prosecutors can't prosecute twice. You can't be charged the same individual. Twice. Right. So right. It, and they didn't really have an answer. It's a really interesting question. It's complex because this removal law is not used very often. And they and should have an answer tomorrow. Are they better? They should. He yeah. should say I give you a week. You need it and I was gonna ask you. One other thing tonight we've confirmed attorneys for Hunter Biden 